What's up guys, we're gonna start a new series. So I've got six athletes that are competing in the October show here in Omaha, Nebraska. So we're gonna run through all six athletes. You're gonna see the different training uh, styles, different training modalities that I use depending upon the class. And then we'll talk through kind of manip manipulations that we're using for each individual as we move forward. So today I'm gonna to train Jema. Jema is a bikini competitor. Um, she's also one of my coaches, but uh, we'll put you through kind of a bikini glute focused leg day. Um, I still use the same style of intensity that I use with everyone when it comes to training. We've just got a different approach, right? So, you know, bikini, we're trying to focus on the aspect that we're building glutes, you know, focusing on shoulders and small waist and, you know, a little bit of, of back work but majority of it is going to be leg work. As of right now, she's a little over eight weeks out. So yeah, so tune in, let's see what's up. Good, keep that sternum down. Don't go into that lower back. There you go. Give me three more. One. Two. And three, easy. Good. Light. So on compound movements or bigger movements where we're moving a lot of weight. Rest time should be closer to like 120 seconds, giving your body enough time to actually recover. Since we're doing max a max effort set, take a little bit longer rest breaks. Now eventually we're gonna have, rest breaks will come down uh, when we're not so focused on maintaining muscle tissue as much as possible. But at this point in time, being eight and a half weeks out, our goal is to continue to actually stress the muscle tissue and make sure that we're actually doing everything possible to maintain as much muscle tissue, especially on my smaller athletes, because they don't have a lot of muscle tissue to start with. So if you don't continue to push the intensity in your workouts and push the weight that you're moving in your workouts, whether it's staying at the same weight and increasing reps or increasing weight in general, you're gonna end up losing muscle tissue in a prep. So you have to be mentally strong because as food goes down and as cardio goes up, you're gonna wanna go lighter. You're gonna wanna back off and you can't. Especially on smaller athletes, you can't back off because you're gonna lose muscle tissue in the process. So you have to push hard when it comes to this work. I ain't okay, small. let's go. I'm not small. Let's go. Up, <sighs> hold, no, hold. Hold, good. Stop. Up, hold, good. Up, hold, hold. Come on. Up, 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 up. Good. Played off. Let's go. Hold, no. Hold, one. No. Hold, one, two. Go. Up, hold, good. Again, up. Come on, you gotta fight. Let's go. Through your heels. Drive. Go. Go, up, 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 up. Again, come on, again. Come on, up, finish, finish, down. One plate off, hold at the top, hold, two, good. Up, hold, two, good. Up, up, hold, two, good. Up, up, good. Drive through your hips, not through your back. All the way and hold. Again. Up, up, hold. Again, again, come on. Go, up, 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 up. One more. Up, up, up. Done. It's a dying set. Oh. That's what training actually is supposed to look like. It's the difference between lifting weights and training. That's what people don't understand. Up! Good, come on, finish strong. Up! One more, finish strong. Slow, three, two, Finish, finish, finish. You got another. You got another. Three, two, up. Just up, just up. Don't round that back. Up, 
Good, again, again, again. Up, good, again. Up, good, again. Come on. Up, good, lower, the lower, knees out, knees out, knees out. One more, finish strong, finish strong. Up, 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 right, right here. Up, five. That's, that's the hardest thing to teach somebody. Because in order to actually progress, it takes you taking risks when it comes to what you're doing as far as in the gym mm -hmm. and pushing boundaries in the gym. And the only way that you can push those boundaries is by taking yourself out of your body and focusing in on what you're doing at that, that, that point, that time, intent-wise, and only that. And using that outside perspective to channel all of your fucking emotion and everything into that set to focus on what you're doing at that set. And as long as you keep execution 100%, you're not gonna get injured. And if you've got spotters there that can pull the fucking weight off you, then you can go to fucking balls to the walls, and you should. It's the whole point of a spotter. It's the whole part, point of training partners. It's the whole point of me coaching you, being here, right? but you have to mentally already be there. You have to already mentally see that you finish that set with that weight in your mind before you even do it. Okay? All right. Thanks, Nick. Kill it. That's it.